My name is Mark Hoffman. I am associate professor at NC State, uh, and uh, I am the host of The Dish. My name is Caitlin Aguilas, and I'm the co-host of The Dish. My name is Alexa Artis, and I'm the producer for The Dish. Oh, why do I think this podcast is important? I think it's important for people to understand um, why food waste, why you know, specific topics are important to learn about and how these problems shape our everyday lives and what we can do to fix or try to fix these problems. Food is something that we deal with every day, multiple times a day. And reducing your waste of it just means that you're getting better at managing it. I think it's important because I think science is losing valuable support in the public. And I hope that we can change that a little bit. Why do you guys think it is important to uh, also talk about the people behind the story? Yeah, well, I think they have a lot to say, right? Yeah. And usually people don't go looking for them to listen to them no. because they write long publications that people outside of the scientific community don't necessarily read. So I think it's important to sit down with them and just, you know, listen to them listen to how they went about doing their research and just learning. I mean, I think it's important understanding people's motivations for why they're doing something. And especially if someone's like dedicated their entire lives to like this one issue or this one topic, it's like, why, mm. you know? So I only can connect like, oh no, that's not true. But I mostly connect to people if I feel with them, if that makes any sense, you know? So I kind of like, if I get to learn why so how they got to the point where they are and what they had to go through or didn't go through or what they kind of like you know what was the what were like the pivot points in their path so that's kind of like makes me connect with them a little bit before i even you know joined the team i didn't know i was you know contributing to it because story time i had spent thanksgiving alone for the first time away from my family when I moved to Montana for my first ever job. And so I ordered a turkey to make. Um, and they gave me like an 18 pound turkey, which, so I made it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have dinner for like a month. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna make sandwiches. I'm gonna make stew. It's gonna be amazing. Um, and then I put it away in the freezer and forgot about it until I moved out a year later. <laughs> <laughs> Since, you know, joining the team, now I'm understanding and I want to make steps on changing. That's nice. Yeah, um, that's good. So I knew a little bit about food waste, but I didn't know how the extent of it was. You know, I didn't I had no idea that we're wasting like on average forty percent of our food like across the entire supply chain. That was a staggering number to me. And I look at I look at our, our kitchen right now at home totally different than I did like before I started doing the podcast. Even you know. Um. <laughs> Alexis, hmm. no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know all this shit before. No, so, I mean, funny enough, I actually, like, in, during undergrad, I um, mm. was part of, like, we have at NC State, like, a food waste thing, like, a mm. zero waste, like, food waste. And so I was part of that. So I did learn a little bit about food waste, like, a couple of years ago. But one thing I learned recently that I didn't know was um, that putting your scraps like down the disposal isn't better necessarily for the environment i always thought it was i always taught like you know your food when you throw it in the trash it like goes to the landfill and it like releases like greenhouse gases and everything and you should put it down the disposal because then it'll like break it up and it'll go somewhere else but no yeah same thing it just <laughs> <laughs> i do it too right. I, right I, I always thought right that the, the garbage disposal was where the scraps go <laughs> yeah i was so proud of you until you said that no i, I, like, I still, <laughs> do <it. laughs> I'm still doing it like, all right whatever so with that uh follow us on youtube or on patreon or wherever you get your podcast and uh, we're looking forward to see you in our next episode on the dish bye, bye. <laughs>